Hi and welcome to another episode of Type with Me. In this episode we will see something about RxJS. We will have a battle between observable versus subject. Let's have a look. So first of all we need to install RxJS. Great. So first of all, we're going to import observable from the package RxJS, right? And we're going to use that. So I'm going to create const observable equals new observable. Within this um, this construction, we can add uh, set timeout, and we can say to the observer observer dot next, where we push a message to our subscribers. Right? You will see that within observables, the only way to uh, do uh, an event emit is by using the observer dot next. Then of course we can subscribe to our observable. And we can just print out our um, observable parameter, right? So let's build this. And then we can do node dot. And you will see that after one second we get hello from observable. Observables by default are cold. They are lazy and will not run any code until you have a subscriber. Now let's take a look at another observable type within RxJS, namely a subject. Of course, now we can say const subject equals new subject. Subject dot next to emit a value, right? Then we can do a subscribe and then we can do again subject dot next Great. So now let's build this. Subjects are hot observables. A hot observable is an observable that can start emitting events before you subscribe. This means you can miss previous events that have already emitted. Subjects can emit multiple event values just like observables, but um, on the outside world uh, you cannot do a dot next with an observable, and with a subject you can, right? Now we can execute this, we can just do node dot, and then you'll see something you will catch and another one. And something you will miss, we indeed missed it. So subjects allow subscribers to push back 
and trigger their own events on the subject. So you have some special uh, subjects. So like, for example, the reply subject. So we can use that, for example. Now we can build this. And now we can execute this. And you will see that he also replies the uh, events that you missed, right? So that's a big advantage of the reply uh, subject. I hoped you learned something. Uh, it was great to have you here and see you next time. Bye.